It is an $8 million contract funded by taxpayer money, and it allows Buffalo school children to ride NFTA buses and trains to school. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Dave Thompson explains, not everyone is on board with how it's being executed. For the ride home, each Buffalo public school student is assigned a designated bus or train route. But now, some parents say the system that only gives students one option to get home is broken. Our children might stay at three different households, but now they have it set up where, okay, we want you to take this route, this route only. That could be to your mother house. What if you want to go to your father house? Students speaking out as well, saying the current activity pass, which allows a student to ride up until 8 p.m., doesn't give some students access to a ride home. When they extended our school days, I don't really think they considered the fact that how we get home at night. I play a lot of sports. I play basketball now, and my game, I play varsity, so my games get out at 8 o'clock. That's what time my activity pass expires, how I'm supposed to get home. In a statement, the NFTA tells 7 Eyewitness News, NFTA Metro is proud to provide more than 20,000 student trips each school day. Our long-standing agreement is with the Buffalo Board of Education. Any suggestions or changes in the policy and or procedures needs to be directed to the district. I'm the Buffalo Parent right Teacher now. Organization we plans to hold a public forum with NFTA now. management as well as representatives from the Buffalo School District in early January to comment on what would help students have a better and safer trip home. In Buffalo, Dave Thompson, 7 Eyewitness News.